This is The Top, where I interview entrepreneurs who are number one or number two in their industry in terms of revenue or customer base. You'll learn how much revenue they're making, what their marketing funnel looks like, and how many customers they have. I'm now at $20,000 per talk. Five and six million. He is hell-bent on global domination. We just broke our 100,000 unit soul mark. And I'm your host, Nathan Latka. When I do webinar interviews or I give big speeches to thousands of people all over the world, I usually will talk about data and sometimes show my dashboards, like my SaaS dashboard as I'm growing my SaaS company, the top inbox, or my website dashboard, which shows how I take impressions, to convert them into email leads and convert them into customers for NathanLacka.com. The funny thing is, guys, I build these dashboards with myself, no developer, and it's basically free, and I use one tool to do it. You can see the tool at nathanlacka.com forward slash analytics. I'll tell you more later in the show. This is episode 672. Coming up tomorrow morning, we walk through how to get your first 100 customers for your software platform by giving the sales flair example. Good morning, everybody. My guest this morning is Adam Jankovitz, and his goal is to become an outstanding marketing technologist, a person who brings together strengths in marketing technology and social interaction. He's got the unusual MBA consultant's background, but also has a strong interest in technology and good social networking skills. His focus right now is on his company, Leadberry, which we'll talk about. Adam, are you ready to take us to the top? Absolutely. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good. Thanks for joining us. So tell us quickly, just give us an overview of what Leadberry does and what's your business model. How do you make money? Okay, sure. I'll try that. Uh, so uh, Leadberry is a, is a web-based uh, B2B lead generation software that uh, converts website visitors to, to sales leads. And it's very important that it's, it's B2B. And actually all this uh, powered by Google Analytics. So the basic idea here is that uh, without inserting any code into a given website, we simply uh, ask the user to connect Leadberry to Google Analytics, which is actually done by a click of a button or, or two. Okay. And then Leadberry does two things. First, it's, uh, it aims to identify B2B visitors. So no scam here or anything. We're not trying to go after individual users, just going to try to identify the given company or organization behind that visit and real time provide valuable data about that uh, company automatically. So besides providing basic analytics data, obviously about the company, uh, about prospect companies like visited pages, time on site, bounce, source, and so, contact data, business data, some social data. So let's say who are your common connections on LinkedIn and so. So we kind of automate all this process and uh, regarding the second part of your question, how we make money, it's a good one because at the moment we do not make, we just actually spend money uh, quite a lot. How much are you uh, spending? Um, well, it's not really the number, it's really the alternative costs. So right, uh, manpower, marketing budget. So the, so where we are at the moment, so we launched Leadberry uh, in a free beta in, in October 2016. Okay. And actually the beta phase will end a week from today. So we had to push out the beta phase for several reasons. And uh, so we have kind of the detailed pricing already laid out and, uh, and the business model that we're going to follow. But uh, uh, the, the, the real revenue stream is, uh, is going to come in only the, from a few months uh, from today. So uh, we are switching to the paid version on the 3rd of April. Got it. And this is uh, th this will be when this gets released, it will already have passed that date. So you guys can go to leadberry.com to check it out. Now, Adam, you're in a beautiful spot because a lot of our listeners are in this exact same spot. They've just launched a beta. They're trying to understand how it's doing and they're trying to figure out kind of what the next step is. So for you, what did you see in the beta that gave you the confidence to say, yep, let me double down on this. Let me put more time, energy and money into this to keep building it. Mm hmm. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's, I think, a very um, valid and, and great question. So I think what lies behind that is that, um, so how the, how, the, how the whole idea came actually from, from uh, working on, uh, on Leadberry. So um, the, how, we, how we choose to at least proceed with the idea of, of Leadberry, and at that time it wasn't even called Leadberry, it's just because we saw so, so, so many cases uh, when a company was doing this whole process that Leadberry is doing actually manually or they were outsourcing it to to uh, to us to do this process for them and uh, and that's we just first built this tool as uh, as an in-house software to automate at least on our end and then we we decided to move forward and launch it in beta and in, and, and since october we had uh, um, we had uh, we, are, we are over 2000 uh, subscribers uh, which are most of them are our companies we are companies using the tool we have a lot of positive uh, and not negative, but a lot of uh, feedback that we had to work on in the last uh, six months. 
and uh, and we have over two two million leads uh, generated for these two thousand companies. So the numbers and the feedbacks kept us pushing, and uh, and uh, and we are very eager to take it to the next level. And so you have two thousand folks that have signed up, kind of over the past six months. Um, how do you know? How do you know that they're going to be willing to pay? No, we don't, and uh, that's that's one of the biggest question in our whole uh, feasibility plan. If, if okay, that's great that we have two thousand uh, subscribers uh, uh, killing our our our, uh, our uh, background here, and 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 then the question is how how we're going to be able to convert them to to paid users. We don't. We are we have a game plan laid out on on how to how to what kind of incentives at what point uh, to to offer these users and how to, to kind of show them that. The, this tool can even be more valuable for them in, in a paid version. But I think we'll really see uh, once this uh, once this uh, changes from from next uh, Monday. And how did you get these two thousand signups? A lot of people listening right now are trying to get their first one hundred signups for their beta program. How did you do it? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I think one, one thing, uh, I don't want to diverge from the question, uh, but one thing I think is very uh, important about, about, regarding our background is that, um, short story, that, so actually I am the CEO and a founder of another company called Brandlift, which is a full service digital agency. And uh, we kind of, and I'm the CEO of Brandlift as well. And uh, here in the agency, we, we um, uh, actually, we do a lot of stuff that Leadway re requires to to grow and and generate uh, new signups for Leadway. So we are doing PR, we are doing uh, marketing, we are doing performance campaigns, uh, and we are putting our own. Uh, uh, stream of revenue and money into Leadberry at the moment, and and so it's a it's it's a paid and organically growing uh, uh, the traffic that we try to convert through our, our our sales site. And how much money so far have you invested into Leadberry? Well, it's, I think this is two different types of questions, right? So if we're talking about alternative costs and in type in type of uh, having our agency staff. Uh, to be located and working on something that's uh, that's uh, really non-agency type of work, and we have several members today already working. How many? Actually, three team. Three. Uh, three team. Three. Three and uh, and some. So three are the ones that we are almost. So one is actually full time. Other two is almost full time. And we have a lot of other. Uh, so we are a twenty person digital agency and with a lot of other uh, capacities going into Leadbury. Just maybe on a few hours a day, a few hours a week. Right? So that's that's one half. And the other half is that right now we are throwing somewhere around uh, three to four thousand uh, dollars a month. Uh, into into performance channels because here even we are also uh, kind of on a, on a learning curve so trying to optimize and see where this really resonates with our prospect uh, uh, clients at a phase where we don't know how, how we'll be able to uh, convert them to paid clients so I think really the next uh, valuable time will be when we when we kind of do this and we already are going for 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 signups and and uh, well after a 30 day uh, paid uh, 30 day free trial into um, so, so I don't know if you add up kind of the human expense, it sounds like one full time and a few part time. So add that plus all the paid marketing you've done. I mean, are we talking 50,000, 100,000, 200,000? Yeah, no, I think I think um, I think 50,000 is, is a valid guess. That's, that's along that line. Okay. Or something, or something along that line. Yeah. And then take so, what well, I was going to say. Go ahead. I'm sorry, just just one sentence that it kind of evolved during time. So it wasn't really only this type of dedicated personnel. We had to have to had to grow with the task, right? So first when we were building it. So the other question is when we when we say it was a start line, right? Because we first we built it for ourselves, and then we started to kind of grow it. So it's um, it's a tricky question, but something around that is I think is a value is a is a good estimation. Yeah, I think it's a, such a good piece of advice for folks listening right now, thinking about trying to get build their own software company to start off in an agency because I have talked to so many agencies where they have all these clients and they start realizing the clients all have the same problem. Then they use their own in-house staff to build a solution to that problem to make their own agency more efficient. And before you know it, you're going, I could spin this out as a SaaS company. Um, and it sounds like that's kind of the 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 track you guys took as well. Yeah, I mean, and, and we, we we actually use Leadberry for our own uh, lead generation. Uh, have, have you guys raised uh, capital for it, or is it just totally bootstrapped? Uh, no, no, uh, and we are not uh, not really focusing even on that uh, at the moment. So it's it's bootstrapped. Great, that's yeah. great. And then give us real quick so people understand kind of the platform that is supporting you, and and both monetarily and just from a talent perspective, the agency side. So you mentioned twenty people. What year did you launch the agency in? Well, agency was uh, was launched in in 2010, mm -hmm. 
so uh, a couple of years uh, uh, back. We are uh, actually a full service digital, uh, well today I would say digital focused agency, but uh, what digital, let's just say a digital agency. And um, um, so we have the ability and the luck to work with some really amazing clients, big names uh, from, the, from the financial sector, retail sector, and, and a lot of actually pretty diverse. In, in the ways of sectors, and uh, usually what we do is uh, is uh, either online marketing, social media marketing, development work, and actually one of our big chunk of work is, is uh, lead generation, B two B or B two C type of lead generation. What other tools so, do you use for that? Like I imagine you might maybe use Full Contact, Clearbit, Email Hunter. Like, are there any other tools you use to get leads for your clients? Yeah, actually, actually all all of those. And uh, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm not I'm not using these tools on a daily basis. But for example, these all ring a bell that you just said. But yeah, quite a lot of tools. We're always trying to explore uh, other 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 and, and other and unexplored new uh, options uh, for clients for and for the agency as well. And give us a sense of the, the size of the agency. So 2010 was launch year. Do you remember what your first year revenue was? Uh, of the, we're talking now about the agency, right? The now. agency, yeah. Your first year revenue in 2010. Do you remember? Uh, so so low number. I, don't <laughs> know. I just erased that from my my memories. I don't know, like uh, I don't know, fifty thousand dollars. And how old? Or how old were you when you launched in 2010? 28. Oh wow! And then fast forward to to to, to, to last year. What was 2016 total revenue in the agency? Our net revenue was some somewhat uh, below uh, one million uh, U.S. dollars. Okay, net, and, and so what was your net margin? I mean, are you, so does that mean gross? You did around four million or something like that? Um, no, no. I actually, I'm using net in another way. I mean, I mean, I'm saying after taxes and uh, and all deductibles like that. No, that's what I mean. So, bottom line, you you free cash flow. You basically had a million come out of the agency last year. My question was top line. So, add back in all your expenses and everything else. Was top line revenue somewhere around four or five million? No, I think I think we. I, I, yeah, I know what you're saying. I think uh, yeah. So the the a gross revenue in that in that form was somewhat above um, above um, uh, one million U.S. dollars. And if we take net revenue in that uh, type of way, then I would say around the. Uh, um, 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 oh, that's a good question. So, uh, uh, between around 150, 200,000. Got it, got it. So a little bit of a syntax question yeah. there, but so top line around, Sorry, no, that's okay. Top line around a million and then free cash flow. You're coming out somewhere around a hundred K. So healthy agency, 20 people you're based, you said in Budapest right now. Uh, actually, three locations. But let's just say Hungary and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. Hungary and Los Angeles. Very good. Now, last few questions here on Leadberry before we wrap up. So this is a very like the lead space is a very crowded space. There's tons of companies in this space. How do yeah. you think? You know, and I ask this question to every company like this that I interview, and their answer is always, "We have unique web scrapers that have a, that better take unstructured data and structure it to find the email lead, and our bounce rate is lower than anybody else." That's what everybody says, right? What makes Leadberry different and better than these other guys? Okay, so we have unique scraping. No, I'm just no, no, so, <laughs> no, no. You might, so maybe since, you do. Yeah, actually, I'll get to that point. But um, no, actually, how how we're different? Um, yeah, so since. Since our beta launch and only after five months after launching, um, became the number one um, Google Analytics technology solution in, the, in Google Analytics uh, uh, app listing, and I think that's already pretty different and helps us, helps us differentiate and kind of position already what we're doing so you can see it on our website all over it. And uh, But other main differences um, that um, with, Le with Leadbelly is that in this case, there is absolutely no development work that needs to be done if you want to get started with uh, with, with Leadberry. So if you're a sales guy and you, you don't need to walk over to the IT guy and you, you have to get the approval, which can be kind of a, uh, kind of a problem and even at a mid-size or especially a large-size company, at least that's what we saw and, and actually what we get as, uh, as feedback, that's a pretty big difference. That here we integrate with Google Analytics uh, and so the integration is literally done with a click of a button. Uh, you don't need to add any codes to your website. It's not going to make your website slower or less secure or nothing like that. It's only the, the basic, the core data is from Google Analytics. And uh, I think that's a big difference between what we do and a lot of, lot of other uh, B2B Legion companies or B2B online visitor identification focused Legion companies. 
uh, do. So just to be clear, I I give you my Google Analytics like six or seven digit code. I put it and I give you access to my Google Analytics. How does that help you help help you get me more leads? Okay, so how it's how it works is actually you don't actually you don't even uh, give us your Google any Google Analytics code or something like that. Google has a, its own process. You have to log in with your account that's tied to you to your Google Analytics. So you just have your, the the regular Google login interface. You never see this. You never see your password. You never see your your username or anything. You just log in and then you connect. Uh, your Google Analytics profile or profiles to Leadberry, and actually this is two clicks of a of a button. Why do I do, do that, that though? Why do I why do I need to do that for you to give me email leads? Because we're not uh, we're not just giving you uh, email leads. Uh, so what we do is Google, Google Analytics helps in the identification part. Actually, you can do all this what we're talking about and what Leadberry uh, does today with the tons of manual work. If you log into Google Analytics, you do all the filtering work on a daily basis. You kind of kind of uh, dig in very deep and find these little uh, scrapes of data that you put together. That this is oh, this might be a prospect lead, and uh, you have the only the the some some kind of uh, um, um, word that kind of looks like a company, and then you start googling and going after full contact or any other database and try to build up the company profile who I know at that company what are the what are the business contacts what are the the business data about the company how do I connect who do I connect on LinkedIn and all that and what Leadberry does is that we put all this uh, together for you automati automatically at the click of a button and all I this see. Uh, saving you a tremendous amount of I time. I see so you're not giving me random leads you're saying hey Nathan you have a, you know 100,000 unique website views hitting your website every month let me give you an email email of those views, right? So you can then reach out and actively prospect them. Yeah, and email is email is one part of the data. You also get, as I've said, and, I, and what we see, it's very used data is the com common LinkedIn connections uh, to that given company and by yourself. So you have to log into LinkedIn and you'll see your common connections as well and all the other company data. So you can either use Leadberry's online interface to kind of on a daily basis or, or however log in and, and look at all this data or you can we have already a few CRM connections that you can just tie in your CRM again pretty easy uh, processes and then you will get all this data that we collect automatically synced to your your CRM so Adam if I, I have my checkbook behind me if I write you a check right now for a hundred thousand dollars would you sell me Leadberry uh, probably won't no, what would the no. what would the number be I'm not sure because we're not really we're not really thinking about uh, this option. I don't know. Probably I'm, I'm not saying there's no, no such type of money in the world, obviously, but uh, never thought of it. I don't know. Add, add, add a zero or two. I don't know. <laughs> like I told you guys at the top of this episode, I have amazing data. And you guys know from my interview style, I love data. But what I love more than data is making it actionable via beautiful dashboards that I can view on my phone, on my TVs, in my living room, or even on my laptop as I'm traveling. And the company that I use to create these dashboards, which pulls in data from my Libsyn backend, my Google Analytics backend, Salesforce, and other data sources, is called Clipfolio. You can see an example executive dashboard or my social media command center or my web metrics dashboard at nathanlaka.com forward slash analytics. That's nathanlaka.com forward slash analytics. And you can try it there for free for three months. It's Clipfolio. You can try it free for three months. Everybody else has to pay. So you get it free for three months. Alan's a good friend. He's the CEO of the company. He came on the show. I said, I love your product. Can I feature it? So NathanLacker.com forward slash analytics. Go check it out now. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, Adam, what's your favorite business book? Favorite business book? Uh, I, I would say um, um, Founders at Work is, um, is uh, well, favorite, favorite business book. Uh, definitely read it several times and would recommend it to any startup. -er. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, no, no one really. Nope. I used to listen to a lot of the Steve Jobs uh, uh, presentations and speeches and all that, but no time for that really today. But number three, what's your favorite on, besides your own? What's your favorite online tool like HostGator? Online tool? Uh, we just fall in love with Slack uh, recently, so yeah, maybe Slack. That's a good. And how, how many? Solution. Number four. How many hours of sleep do you get every night? 
Well, since I have my second child, uh, this this went down. This number went down, but usually I'm aiming for eight. But this went down recently so, to around six. Six. Okay, good. And so you've got what's your situation? Obviously, it sounds like you've got at least one kid. Are you married, single? How many kids do you have? Uh, married and two kids, two beautiful kids. And they're all un under the age of what? Uh, one is a half, a little girl, and the three and a half, uh, the little boy. Wow. Holy mackerel. So six months and then three and a half years old. Yeah, All right. And, and how old are you, Adam? I'm 35. All right. Last question. Take us back 15 years. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Um, I would say, I would say um, take, take networking uh, very seriously. It's going to help you a lot in, in life if you do so when you're 20 years old and even later. And, uh, or in other words, take networking to the top, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am trademarking that. I'm stealing it. There you guys have it from Adam. He launched his own agency in 2010, did about $60,000 in top line revenue. Now in 2016, he grew, has grown it to 20 people, did about a million dollars top line, about $100,000 of bottom line. He's used the success of the agency agency to now launch a tool called Leadberry, which they're using as an agency and they're already using to help many of their clients. They've signed up over 2,000 people in the beta program over the past six months, getting ready to release. Actually, by the time you hear this, they've released their pricing and data again, focus now on building this SaaS business. Adam, I'm wishing you the best, man, and thank you so much for taking us to the top. Thank you so much. Thanks again. If you enjoyed Adam today, go back and listen to Steve yesterday, where we predict the future of the financial technology space. Now, if you're listening right now and you're in private equity or venture capital, I want your opinion. FT Partners did over $10 billion in transaction volume in the space last year. The question is, do you agree with Steve? It would mean the world to me if you guys got any value from this episode, if you would go leave a review on iTunes right now and then subscribe. You know, I hustle like heck to get these episodes out every freaking day for you guys. And trust me, I love it. I would do it with no listeners. But boy, oh boy, it makes my day and it makes my team's day when we see great reviews and get your feedback. So thanks so much. Okay, Top Tribe, I love giving away free money. I feel like Oprah giving away cars, and I have something special for you today. How many of you have heard our super sharp guests talk about success they've had with Facebook and Google Ads? Well, all of you listening right now, yes, if you're listening, you get $100 in free AdWords. Here's how you get it. Okay, again, thanks for listening. Get the free $100 from Google right when you sign up with my website host provider, HostGator. Go sign up now to get your free money. HostGator.com forward slash Nathan. Again, that's HostGator.com forward slash Nathan.